Uh, the union and support for the union is strong, and I was delighted to note in the most recent opinion polls that support for independence in Scotland is plummeting. Oh. A very interesting definition of plummeting, Mr. <laughs> Speaker, when it consistently remains higher than it was uh, in the independence referendum of 2014. But we were told during that campaign and afterwards that Scotland was going to have one of the most powerful, we devolved sub state legislatures in the entire world, if not the universe. So, what is the government's baseline for that? Can you give us some examples of parliaments that are more or less powerful than the Scottish Parliament? <laughs> Well, I, w I would just note that uh, uh, at the referendum to which he refers, uh, support for independence was at 45 per cent. It is currently 37 per cent in the polls, uh, and 37 is eight less than 45. But more broadly, um, the Scottish Parliament has significant powers. It is a pity that the Scottish Government does not use them, and unfortunately, as a result, Scotland's people are let down when it comes to education, when Scotland is tumbling down. Actually, when Scotland sadly doesn't have the reforms that we have in England, which have seen us rise up international league tables. It used to be the case that Scotland's education system was the pride of the globe, but it's now England that has the best readers in the Western world. Yeah, yeah, yeah.